Good morning, my grade 7 students. How are you? I hope that you are fine. And you were able to finish all the needed activities and performance tasks for our quarter 1. So today, we're going to start with our quarter 2. So for quarter 2, we'll be discussing topics all about nail care. So, I'm your teacher, Mrs. Lore A. De Velos, and this will be our lesson for quarter 2, week 1. So, nail care, equipment, and tools. For the objectives, differentiate the tools and equipment according to task requirement. Letter B, describe each tool and equipment according to use. Letter C, observe safety procedures in using nail care tools and equipment. And the last one is, appreciate the value of tools and equipment in nail care services. Are you ready for our topic this week? So, we will be talking all about the care, tools, materials, and equipment. We're going to define first what is tools. So, tools are known as the articles used in any nail care service which are considered handheld. These are also referred to as implements. So, ito yung mga kagamitan sa paglilinis ng kuko na hawak ng ating kamay. As young as you are, you should know how to take care of your hand nail and then your toe nail. So, the following are the commonly used nail care tools. So, ito yung mga pinakagamitin. Sa bahay, dapat meron tayong ganito. No? So, that we are not going to go outside just to have our hand and toe nail clean on the different parlors or beauty parlors that we have in our area. So, the first one is the callus remover. This is a tool designed to strip off calluses and corns of the hands and feet. Meron ba ganito sa bahay ninyo? So, ito po ang pagtanggal sa kalyo. Next, we have the cuticle nail pusher. A tool used to push back and loosen cuticles. I know na lahat tayo ay nakakita na ng ganitong tool or implement. Next, we have the cuticle nipper. An implement used to cut the cuticles. So, we have to be very careful in using this kasi kapag bagong hasa or bagong bili, matalim siya. Pag hindi tayo maingat, pwedeng masugat ang ating kuko or daliri. Next, we have the cuticle scissors, a tool used to cut stubborn cuticles. So, yung hindi pwedeng makuha ng cuticle nipper ay cuticle scissors ang ginagamit. Next, we have the finger or manicure Bowl. So, this is a small bowl used for soaking the fingers to soften the cuticle. So, para malambot or madaling matanggal ang cuticle ng ating daliri, kailangan muna natin ibabal ito sa finger or manicure bowl. Next, we have the foot file. So, this is a tool that is made of metal or sandpaper with a rough file on one side to remove calluses and fine file on the other to smoothen the Fit. So, kaparehas po siya ng callus remover. Next, we have the foot spa basin. O, yung mga mahilig magpa foot spa dyan. So, ito po ang ginagamit. So, the purpose is to bath and to soak our what? Fit. Bago po linisan. Next, we have the manicure tray, a flat container where all the necessary tools and implements are placed to be used by the manicurist. So, dito nilalagay ang mga gagamitin ng isang manicurista pag maglilinis ng kuko. Why? Para nando na ang lahat ng kailangan niya. Hindi na yung diba, patayo-tayo siya pag may kailangan siya tool or implement. Next, we have the manicure nail brush. So, siguro naman meron yan sa bahay ninyo. This is a plastic handle brush with nylon bristles used to clean dirt and cosmetic residue from the nail surface and skin. So, pag naglilinis ng kuko, kailangan po natin ang manicure nail brush. Next, we have the, we have the mixing bowl. So, a small open top rounded cup-like container used for mixing the aromatic oils and other fluids for the hand and foot spa. So, 
Doon kasi sa mga parlor, pag pumupunta tayo doon at magpapafoods pa tayo, meron silang mga ginagamit na mga aromatic oils. Minimix nila yon at kailangan nun ng mixing bowl. Next, we have the nail buffer, an implement used for is smoothening the nail. So, ito ay parang goma, hindi po siya eraser ha. Next, we have the nail cutter or the nail clipper or the nail trimmer. Kahit alin dyan, pare-parehas lang po yan. Ang gamit ay pamputol ng fingernails and then your toenails. Next, we have the nail file. Same po siya ng ano, callus remover. Yes, parang kaparehas po siya. An implement used to shape the free edges of the nail with the core side and bevel the nail with the finer side. Next, we have the orange wood stick, a tool with pointed and rounded ends to remove the excess nail polish on the side of the nail. So, ito ay ginagamit kapag tapos ng applyan ng nail polish ang ating daliri. Pag may excess or, or sobrang nail polish or simply we call it cutics, yun ang pinangtatanggal doon sa gilid ng ating kuko. Next, we have the pedicure or pedicure nail brush. A tool used to remove cosmetics and cleanse nails. Next, we have the plastic container for the cotton. So from the picture itself, it says that it is where you are going to kept the cotton balls. Next, we have the pumice stone, a type of volcanic rock which is actually fruity lava solidified and forms a porous rock to remove dry and oily skin of the feet as well as the calluses. Or simply, di ba, sila nanay, ang tawag nila dito ay pangkilon. Pero, ito ay pangtanggal din po ng mga calluses. Next, we have the supply tray. A flat container that holds the necessary cosmetics and implements. Same siya nung tray kanina. Cosmetics tray. Parehas lang po ang gamit nilang dalawa. Let's proceed. We have the trolley, a wheel cart that is pushed by hand and used for transporting, manicuring, and pedicuring tools and materials. So, kung hindi pwedeng buhatin, pwede namang ilagay sa trolley. So, those are the different tools and implements used for our hand and two names. Then, don't forget to answer all the learning tasks in pages 1 and 2 and then the tagubilin in your WHLB. That's all for our quarter to week 1. Congratulations everyone!